No more music, man. <laughs> The place was Durban, the event, the annual Total Sports Ladies Road Race, and the atmosphere, brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to be the winner. <laughs> I'm the winner, one already. <laughs> Prepared very well, trying to finish in first uh, one and a half hours. Everyone had something to say. I'm going to do the best I can. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what excited, what excited, ready for the race. <laughs> Woo, yeah. Well, I'm hoping to do it in under an hour this time, so we'll see. <laughs> With a magnificent Moses Mabida Stadium in the background, nearly 5,000 runners prepared for a race that combined competition, camaraderie and fun under the bright Durban sun. In the group were many elite runners including Renelle Thomas and the Colmer sisters Christine and Renee. At the start, the elite contenders in the 10km event filled the front rows of the mass start and soon these runners were well away. Their goal a time of under 40 minutes, the sort of performance that separates top-class athletes from everyone else. The route was flat and fast and took the runners close to the beachfront areas of Durban. Over the years, extremely fast times have been recorded in races here. The sea level, altitude and cool winter weather being helpful to quick times. Renee Kalmer was soon out on her own, with Nonto Korsum Kize, Christine Kalmer and Tanith Maxwell giving chase. It was clear at this stage that Renee was set on a fast time, with her initial kilometre splits close to the three minute mark. The rest seemed content to let her go. After two kilometers, the field was well spread out, with these runners still keen to dip under 40 minutes. Only later would the huge mass of runners pass this point. As is normal in races like this, most of the runners chose to wear the sponsor's t-shirt, lending a colorful atmosphere to proceedings. Renee Kalmer was running smoothly and well within herself. Kenneth Maxwell was now in third place, both these runners will be competing in the marathon at the World Championships in Korea later in August. Tucked in between them was Renee's younger sister, Christine. Makosa Zana Mishlongo, Pusoletso Glada and Nontokoso Mkiza filled the next three places. But by now they were over a minute or nearly 300 meters behind Kalma, who looked superb as she cruised along at 3 minutes 20 seconds per kilometer. Maxwell too looked like she was just going for a fast training run and not keen to race toe to toe with Kalma. Happiness and Keys and Kerry Kun were running 7th and 8th as they approached halfway, nearly a minute behind the chasing group of Mishlongo, Lada and Mkees. The halfway mark was on the beachfront and the Mishlongo group got there in just over 18 minutes, about 2 minutes behind Kalma. Up front, Christine had given up her second place to a fast-moving Maxwell, who was now flexing her muscles over the final four kilometers. But even she was no match for Renee, who seems to have overcome the niggling knee injury that forced her to bail out of the Spa Ladies race here in Durban in June. Nedbank uh, got involved with, uh, with the Total Sport Ladies race. Uh, in conjunction with uh, our sponsorship of the Comrades Marathon and the 13 Nedbank Running Clubs. It was a, a natural fit for us to associate to a quality event like uh, Total Sport Ladies with uh, some great organisers behind the scenes. And nice to see uh, an awesome turnout today here in Durban on, uh, on their first uh, inaugural race. Absolutely awesome to see all these ladies out here today. What a wonderful spread of, uh, of age groups and demographics. Uh, such a, a, a vibrant uh, component to, uh, to sport in this country. Nice to see everybody trying to uh, be fit and healthy and uh, coming out to have a, just a great time down here in Durban. 
and a great time was being had by all, including veteran Maya Lorry, who was moving swiftly through the field. With Grace de Oliveira now a master, Lorry is the country's top over 40 runner. Kerry Kun, a few years younger than Lorry, was in danger of losing her position to the fast-running veteran from the boxer club. And Keyes and Gladler were just ahead of Mschlongo, the battle for fourth spot becoming quite interesting. With two kilometers to go, Christine Kalmer was safe in third place and likely to break 37 minutes with ease. Ahead of her, Tanith Maxwell was pushing hard, no doubt doing a hard speed session in preparation for the World Champs Marathon just a few weeks away. Both Maxwell and Kalmer are in the national team, but for Renee, it will be her first championship standard marathon, a big test ahead of the Olympics in London next year. Ladies races always have all sorts of entertainment supplied by the sponsors, and this was no exception. Street performers were part of the whole experience, giving local entertainers a great opportunity to perform for a big local and national television audience. With Women's Day coming up, this was a perfect opportunity to give the ladies of Durban a chance to have their own race, with no men around to get in the way and grab the honours. While the top performers would finish well under 40 minutes, the folks at the back would not be home in less than two hours. In fact, more than half the field would be just happy to walk and stroll the whole way, just having fun with their friends. We don't do one every single time it comes up, we do it. Okay. We love it. And you're quite prepared for all these races? No, not actually, but we still do it, we eh? Take, we just take the bull by the horns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We just go for it. Good, <laughs> Rene reached the 9 km mark in just over 30 minutes and set off on a hard final sprint. The West Strand resident has a remarkable career and she has been the top performing South African distance runner for the past 10 years. Quite outstanding. Now at 30 years of age, she moves her career to the next level as she takes on the ultimate road challenge, the marathon. Five years as senior, Maxwell has been running marathons for years but so far, neither she nor Kalma has dipped under this difficult 2 hours 30 barrier. Just outside the finish stadium, Christine was in no man's land, far behind Maxwell and a long way ahead of Gladler and company. Maya Lorry was having a great race, catching Mokoso Zana Mushlongo at 9 kilometers. Meanwhile, at Kings Park track, Renee Kalmer was completing a fine but expected win. At the end, she was 90 seconds clear of her teammate, Maxwell, a massive gap in this sort of race. The younger Kalmer, Christine, came home next. Her time of 36.38 was more than three minutes slower than her sister. Pusiletso Gladler was next, followed by the veteran Maya Lorry in fifth spot overall. With the winners home, it was time to focus on the masses. Thousands of ladies jogged and walked their way around the route in a great festival of fun, friendship and fitness. <laughs> ladies races such as this have really become a big business in recent years. Some of them attracting fields of over 20,000 in Cape Town, Durban and Pretoria. This confirms the belief that fitness as a chosen lifestyle has been selected by a large proportion of women across South Africa. This has happened across all race groups and ages. Today, girls as young as 10 took part alongside ladies of well over 70. At the prize giving, the crowd stayed to congratulate the category winners, which ranged from the over 70 group down to the top three. With her time of 33.29, Renee Kalmer can be well pleased with her form as she moved on to the World Championships Marathon in Korea. We wish her and Tanith Maxwell every success there. 
Lucky it was um, a solo time trial today, um, but it's good preparations for um, the World Marathon Champs in a month's time. Um, I wanted to run a good um, time about a month ago. I had to pull out in a race here in Durban. So I really just wanted to come back here and just um, make a statement again. No more music, man.